Hi there, I have a uh, cautiously optimistic update for everybody today. Um, this week, of course it's only a four day week, I hope everybody had a, a, a nice bank holiday weekend. Uh, this week we are going to attempt to trade our new normal. Um, as of this morning, in theory at least, there are no barriers to us doing what we do. Uh, of course there are lots of things that um, are, are still harder um, or different. And I suppose it might also turn out to be true that there are just some things that aren't possible uh, to, to carry on the way as they, they were. Um, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, you know, whatever it is, distancing rule, lack of suppliers, uh, external contractors still being on furlough or experiencing difficulty themselves. Um, they're all obstacles that we've, we've got on our radar, um, but we're hopeful we can work around them. We had a great team meeting last week. Uh, we're, we're hopeful we can work around them and at least we're going to try and trade our normal starting today. So uh, all the team are back off furlough now, all bar some who are shielding, uh, and there's also um, one or two new business people. Uh, we're focusing on the core first, and once that's working, it will be the right time to think about new business. But for now, it's the core people, they're all back. Um, we're actually talking about these regular, we've started to become a regular Monday update now. You know, what are we going to do with them now that we're approaching what we can see would be maybe the end of a, a strict lockdown? Um, you know, are they still going to be useful? What are we are going to do with them? And actually, we were talking about um, the next sort of two to three months, maybe longer. Um, and we think that they, these, these updates are going to become more and more useful. Um, you know, the, this is where you're going to be getting answers to the questions. You know, are houses, house prices going up or down? Last week, you know, we will hear week by week, what, what opportunities did the property market throw up our way? Um, what should you be doing with your existing portfolio right now? Uh, how do you grow a portfolio in these, these conditions? They'll, all those answers will be here. Because, um, of course, we aren't at the end of anything, are we? We're at the beginning of something new, a new way of working, um, a new market conditions. Uh, we've, we've, we've coped, and that is the best word to use, coped with the restrictions. Um, you needed these updates for sure, for reassurance more than anything, but let's face it, you were a passenger most of the time, as were we, uh, it, it was very reactive. Um, the actions you as a landlord could take were very limited, the proactive actions, you know, reactive ones for sure, we all took them. Um, but we've all been passengers, like I say. Um, now it will be up to us, and I'm saying for the landlords.com, to work out what's happening out there and how we can make the best of any opportunity and there will definitely be some opportunities. So uh, do something, take action, stay tuned, um, be reactive, not, not just passive. And I think these updates are gonna morph into something that's more focused on you. You know, It's been about us and how we're coping on your behalf, but um, it's gonna become about you, the landlord, and what, can you, what you can do in these times. Uh, perhaps what we can do for you as well, but focusing mainly on you. Uh, anyway, that's, that's next month for sure. Uh, for now, we've got a really busy day. Uh, we've all come in uh, today and we're reorganising ourselves to get the job done um, differently. Um, so let's get straight on with this update. Um, where are we at? So finding new property to invest in. Um, we were almost full diary this week. Uh, a decent number of properties available for us to view and potentially invest in. Um, single lets and HMOs. A number of sale agencies only opened their doors this morning. There was a lot of talk about them opening a week ago, two weeks ago, but in actual practical terms, even though they might have said on their website that we're open, uh, they actually opened their doors um, to new business today. So um, time will tell what's happening out there. Um, it is too early to tell, but this week we are back to normal. We're doing the viewings we, we need to do, do and um, yeah, next week there will be a more full report, I'm sure. Um, we're going to bring back our discovery day uh, in a remote form in June. So that's new business, new, new landlords uh, and existing landlords looking to build their empire, um, property empire. Uh, we'll be able to have some form of, uh, of meeting with us. Um, that's once we've worked through our backlog of clients. We're, we're still working through that. Waiting, um, waiting times are... Yeah, about two or three weeks at the moment, which is you know, outrageous. You know, normally you wouldn't wait much more than a couple of days, uh, but at the moment there is a massive backlog. Uh, remember, you can still join that queue, fill in the form. I don't know if it's there or there or somewhere. I, you know, wherever the video is being played, there's usually a little form around it where you can join the, that queue. Um, I guess in the next week or two, the queue will be, be replaced by 
the discovery day meetings. They're going to be done by Zoom. We've been using Zoom a lot and um, yeah, it's been a godsend, honestly. And we can meet with one one-to-ones or multiple people. I know the team have been doing calls like that all last week and the week before. So it's been great. Um, so that's you know, building empires, new business, finding properties to invest in. What about the ones we've already got, fixing them up, getting them renovated? Uh, all teams should now be back at work. Uh, we asked them to be back at work three weeks ago. Uh, and for, unfortunately, they're not all back at work. This is probably the most frustrating uh, uh, bit at the moment that we're dealing with. Um, for one reason or another, a large percentage of sites are incapacitated in some way. It's a combination of lack of materials uh, or you know, workforce not returning to work or even being ill. Um, it's very frustrating, but we're hoping this week is going to be diff different. Like I said, we've been asking them to return to work now for three weeks and they've been making the right noises. Um, it's been taking some organising. It's absolutely true there's a national shortage of plaster. Um, and they've got their own challenges, these builders, to deal with as well. So we get our updates every Thursday. And last Thursday's update wasn't very positive, but uh, you know we're already on Tuesday. Uh, fingers crossed, in two days now, from now, we'll have a, a, a better update that this week is more normal. The, and and the, the indicators are there to say that um, uh, is true. Um, however, this whole frustrating bit, we started three weeks ago trying to bring builders back and it's been frustrating. You know, This morning we're starting to bring viewings back. Will we have in three weeks time something that is uh, equally sort of frustrating? Um, I'm not too concerned about this. It's to be expected, I guess. Uh, and every time there's something frustrated, frustrating, I know it's the same for everybody. I know that we as a company and you as landlords cope with that particularly well, You know, perhaps more e easier and, and, and take it more in your stride than other people will. And if we can keep that as an attitude, then we'll be ready there to pick up the opportunities for those people who can't cope um, with a bit of uncertainty. And um, yeah, there's definitely gonna be some opportunities for us there. So frustrations are gonna be part of the new norm, I think. Um, and dealing with them is going to be our job, and when we do, we will uh, we'll take that opportunity. Renting. When it comes to renting out empty properties, so we had an absolutely stellar week last week. It was no no, no other way to uh, talk about it. It was uh, incredible. We had um, you know, much much busier than normal. Um, that is more let's agreed than normal. So one, there's a backlog for sure, and we're getting through it. One thing that I've been asked to mention, and I can see it from the numbers myself, but it was particularly, you know, Jess, make sure you mention this. HMO rooms are renting out again, but if you've got an old spec HMO room, it's all, you know, I think personally, I've, I've got a few and I've, I've done this to mine. Um, if you've got a tired looking HMO with an old, let's say over five year renovation in there, decoration, um, they aren't going as quickly and they aren't going for as much money. The, the, the bar has been raised over the last uh, yeah, year or two. Um, the team introduced a new package last week, which is to upgrade uh, an old HMO to more modern decor. Um, if you own an HMO with you know, decoration over five years old, it would probably be cost effective to spend the money on making it look nicer and you'll get a, a property that rents out faster and for a little bit more money. So you know, overall, you'd end up uh, by the probably 12 month point having um, recouped whatever it costs to decorate the property. And of course, HMOs need decorating anyway. So you might as well incorporate the new specification, which is only slightly more than um, uh, a standard you know, magnolia decoration. Um, management, so when it comes to the, the long-term management of, of properties, uh, calls and email volumes are, they're nearly back to normal. Um, not quite, but they're nearly back to normal. There's a slight backlog of work, uh, but that was to be expected. Uh, it should be cleared soon, um, you know, matter of matter of days and weeks, not, not months. Um, it's a little bit harder working the way we're working. So you know, please be kind to the people in the office. You know, I'm saying that everything's back to normal here. That's what this update is about, but you know, don't misconstrue that. Um, it is harder. You know, when I say office, people in the office, of course, I mean working from home, probably around a kitchen table, perhaps with you know, their kids sat alongside them doing some schoolwork. It's not easy, uh, but everybody's in it together. Um, 
uh, yeah, there's very little we can do about that. We've got a very tolerant attitude in terms of you know in, in, in this com company. We just need to get on with it and make the best of it. And if you know, people are working around certain other commitments, then that's just the way it's got to be for the next month or so. Um, the fact that they're actually doing um, such a good job with all those constraints makes it, you know, I, I need to say thank you. I think you as a landlord need to say thank you um, because of that as well. They, they really are doing a top job there. Um, we aren't opening our office, our physical offices in June. We're not just not going to do it, but we are inside them. So um, I'm in the office now, the shutters are down and we've got no visitors, but you know, we can accept keys, file paperwork. Um, there's a reduced team in the office, all distant, um, actually no, no more than one person in at any one time, so coming in and out, um, just to do all the physical things that need doing, you know, open the post and move things around. People have been coming into the office regularly for that, but now there's a, a manned presence on a rotor, which is a little bit different, but practically speaking, honestly, no different. This, we've had that all the time. Um, before I go, uh, I want to give a quick thank you, well, we're over quick, quite a long and incomprehensive maybe, thank you to the team um, in, the, in the form of a, of a, of a summary of our, of our lockdown days. Um, during lockdown, we stayed open 24-7, you know, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If a tenant called us at three o'clock in the morning, the phone call got answered. Uh, the team focused on communicating, that was with tenants, with landlords. They put the safety of the tenants at the top, um, whilst they also protected our landlords' assets and helped our landlords fulfil their legal ob obligations. It wasn't always an easy balancing act, but uh, I think they did a sterling job. Um, the accounts department collected over £300,000 in rent, exceptionally low arrears. Um, they dealt with an increased workload, definitely an increased workload dealing with, you know, uh, the, all, all those exceptional circumstances that became the normal every day, um, you know, just because uh, well, the figure here is you know, less than 3% of our tenants defaulted, um, that sat against a normal of just under 2% in any case, so a tiny, tiny percentage um, uh, different, but that doesn't mean to say it was all plain sailing for them, they had a lot of issues to cope with to get to those good numbers. Um, the team devised a totally new way to let a property and move a tenant in, 100% hands-free. Um, just a reminder here, because you know, lots of people will either not have known this or might have forgotten it, but most letting agents and estate agents reopen their doors today. We never closed. We never stopped renting properties, um, answering phones, answering emails. There was a team here, a core team of people, always here, um, always working. Um, not recklessly, um, no non-essential travel, no, no risk. Um, at the low point, you know, the point when we were doing the least, we still rented over 50% of the usual stock. We were collecting rent, that 3% figure. Um, it was pretty exceptional work, I've got to say, and uh, I, I can say it because very little of it, honestly, was mine. It was it was the team's, and um, they, 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 I've got to say thank you. Um, we did furlough people. It felt really weird, personally, sending um, people home from an office that, um, and, and effectively closing a business down. Who knew what we were going to see the other end? But uh, doing that with a business that only, you know, I was going to say weeks, you know, days before that seemed to be working, well, booming, doing absolutely fine and booming. It was a, personally, it was a strange situation. Um, the team were understanding. They took it in their stride, and they were um, you know, very supportive. And when it was time to come back, they were ready, stepped up, and they've come back. They're they're working overtime now to catch up, um, and everybody's got that positive mental attitude that we we look for. Those who work throughout, and there's a core team of people that were always here, get my my special thanks, and I, I think they should get yours too. Um, the fact we can give this update is just very very positive outcome to all the uncertainty we faced. Um, Throughout the team lived by our values. You know, they were bold and different, had steely determination, and they communicated brilliantly. They are our three values, and they definitely lived by those. So rest assured, we're going to continue to do what we do best. We're tentatively back open for business, um, building property empires. Make sure you tune in next week. And I think this update is going to get more and more useful for landlords who are serious about growing a property empire. We're going to be talking about exactly what the market's doing, uh, what we're seeing with prices, um, 
costs of renovations, valuations on refinance, all those things are gonna come into this mix. So uh, stay tuned and stay safe. Bye for now.